Good morning. Happy Tuesday. I'm, I'm trying to shake this up so you'll never know what day to expect my videos. Today, we're going to talk about color correcting, concealers, camouflaging, those kinds of issues that sometimes when you read about them maybe overwhelm you and, and get a little bit too confusing. But I'm going to show you how easy it is. Now, first before we talk about camouflage or concealing, especially under eye area, you need to prime your under eye area. Make sure you use the correct um, under eye cream. Eye Excellence from PCA has got caffeine in it, so if you have bags, you know, you might want to use that one. This one's mine because for a more mature skin, and I'm very dry, this one is perfect because it, it um, actually moisturizes the whole eye area and takes care of those little fine lines and craviness. So then we're going to talk a little bit about color correcting. Now, taking you back to the color wheel, primary school. Um, if you have some redness, on your face, like you have rosacea, or maybe you're um, um, inflamed, or you've got a sunburn. My bride on Saturday had a sunburn. <clears throat> you don't want to put on piles and piles of makeup to cover that. You want to do, like a makeup artist, fine, even layers, very thin, even layers, so that you don't look like you have a ton of makeup on. So today, <clears throat> I have some redness. I've been blowing my nose because of the pollen in the air, so my nose is all red. And then for some reason, I have this like little redness over here. Not sure what that's all about. Maybe I got a bug bite. So I'm taking my Tem2 Air, and I like to do color correcting on, the, on number one. Gently pull back the trigger. And I'm gonna hit my nose with a little bit of yellow, because yellow cancels out red. Now, I know you'll probably read that green also cancels out red, but I like yellow. I don't like um, seeing that greenish undertone. Yellow is more natural, and it's um, going to warm up my skin, too. So, there. No more red nose. No more Rudolph. Very easy. Now I'm going to pop out my yellow. And um, I'm going to put on my blush because I want my blush on first before I put on my foundation. That's how easy it is. I pop one off. I pop one on. This is called Dahlia. This is a brand new color um, from Temp2. And if you'll notice today, the lipstick I chose to rock is orange. It's oh my god, orange. Um, the reason why I chose orange is because I, I'm, I'm get, I've got a lot of redness going on today for some reason, and um, I don't want to exacerbate that. I don't want to put on a red lipstick, and I don't want to put a pink lipstick because I don't want to bring back the pink or the red in my skin. So I'm going to the, I'm going in another direction. You could also do a nude if you don't want to wear a bright orange. You can wear a nude lipstick. Just keep it out of the red pink range when you're red and pink. So I'm doing my blush. Again, I like blush on setting number one. So I'm just going to give myself a little blush right there. You might want to get, you know, you could go a little heavier because this blush is peach. It's also, I don't want pink on my skin today. So I'm doing peach. Peach blush. Yes. Now, back to the under eye circles. Let's talk about that for a minute. You need to really look at your under eye circles. If your under eye circles are purple, very purplish, then you're going to want a, a concealer or an under eye corrector that's yellow, right? So you can get, you can take a little bit of your yellow from Temp2 and you can just hit that under eye circle and then go on with your foundation. Or you can, um, if your under eye circles are bluish, more blue than purple, then you're gonna to wanna to use something that's peachy or melon. Um, Temp2 also has one that's in melon. You do not wanna use a yellow under eye corrector on those blue you know, crescents under your eye because that's gonna turn them green. So you're sort of like making another problem 
with this color, you know, this incorrect color on your under eye circles. So yellow cancels out purple, melon or peach cancels out blue. If you have hyperpigmentation on your skin, brown spots, larger brown spots, say you have a very dark complexion and you've got some, you know, different shades here and here, then you're going to want to take your melon and you're going to want to hit that spot before you do your foundation. Make sense? Okay, make sure you save this video because you want to, you're going to want to keep these color combinations together. Um, so then I'm going to pop out <clears throat> my Dahlia, <clears throat> pop in my foundation. You're getting the, re the whole deal today because guess what? I have an appointment this morning and I want to look good. So um, I'm going to do, I'm doing the whole deal. Again, very fast. No brushes involved. So there we go. You can see that my blush is just peeking out of my foundation. There. Now the other thing that I like to do when I'm trying to color correct or make you not see that I have any redness, <clears throat> I like bronzer. So I'm going to take my bronzer, again, warm glow, and I'm going to hit myself where the sun would hit me. Because, you know, this face doesn't see a lot of sun during the week. I do, you know, a lot of outdoor sports. I do kayaking and biking and I walk and everything, but I wear a very heavy sunblock and I wear a hat. So, um, I need to warm up my face, especially in the summertime. You know, I might even hit my eye today with my bronzer because I don't want to do a lot of eye makeup. I did, um, I did put on my birthday suit eye cream and my tight lined, my black liner. I got a touch of mascara on too. Again, I have an appointment. <laughs> I want to go out looking like I'm a makeup artist, you know? So, um, there, warmed up my face with the warm glow. So, I used three pods. I, I color corrected with the yellow. I did my Dahlia blush. And then I did my, actually I lied, I did four pods. Color corrected with yellow, Dahlia blush, my foundation, and then I did bronzer. I can do any one of those steps alone. The yellow is not going to make me look yellow. It just is going to take out the red because the one color on top of the other makes the other disappear. And that's what color correcting means. You, wanna, you want to wipe out that color that you don't want to see. So let's, let's just review. You want red gets canceled out by yellow. Um, purple gets canceled out by yellow. Blue gets canceled out by melon or peach. Browns get canceled out by melon. So very easy. If you um, are interested in getting your very own Temp2 because it's a limited edition rose gold or you can get it in black and then your pods, you can get 15% off everything um, and I'll give you the special link to the site and then my special Joy of Beauty code. So talk to me. Um, talk about the orange lip, of course, because you know how I love my lips. And um, if you've got questions about color correcting, put those in the comments below as well. Thanks and have a great Tuesday. Bye for now.